Republicans Committee and Arizona Congressman Trent Franks with the House Armed Services Committee. Thank you both for joining us. Thank well, you. Well, criticism it is coming from both sides of the aisle, as we said, Democrats and Republicans. Republican Dennis, uh, uh, Representative Dennis Kucinich calling the action grave without congressional authority. And Ron Paul going a step further, saying that it is insulting even that this authority to impose a no-fly zone comes from the United Nations and not Congress. So I begin with you, Congressman McDermott. Should Congress have been more involved? I personally think the president handled this very well. The first week, his, he was preoccupied with getting Americans out of Libya so there would be no hostages taken. Then he went to the United Nations and got them to be involved on an international basis. I was totally opposed to any action, no fly zone, anything, without international support. And they got that. They even got the Arab League last weekend to uh, make that decision. I think that at this point, if the president wants to do anything more, he ought to call the Congress back from recess and we'll have a session and talk about where we need to go. And Congressman Franks, I'll give you an opportunity to answer the same question. Also, we received a statement from uh, House Speaker Boehner. He said that we must define the Libya mission uh, for the, America pe the American people, the Congress, and our troops. Do you think that Congress should have been more involved? Well, I associate with uh, Speaker Boehner's perspective very closely. Uh, the mission here is not clearly defined. Uh, even in the, final, the recent statements Mr. Obama has made, there's no indication as to whether or not the, that uh, Mr. Gaddafi being removed is even a central tenet of this uh, action. Uh, and I, I would say to you also that uh, I am uh, kind of amazed that uh, we see this president more concerned about getting approval from the United Nations than he does either the American people or the Congress. And uh, it seems that there's been a vacillation of leadership here. In the last uh, couple of weeks, um, the, the rebels, the, the op opposition forces have actually been put into the defensive now, and uh, they're kind of hanging on by a thread. And now this action uh, has come, and it may mean that it will come only uh, in time to, to allow a protracted effort to, to really see an end to all of this. Congressman McDermott, what about that? What about the vacillation? And does this call into question um, not only President Obama's leadership, but the leadership of America as a whole? Well, I remember the start of the Iraq war eight years ago yesterday. And Mr. Bush went rushing out there all by himself and got us into a war that we are still involved in and we're not out of it yet. And I think that President Obama was very judicious in going to the United Nations and getting the backing of the Arab League and the British and the French and even one of the Emirates talking about putting some uh, troops on the ground. So I think he has up to this point done a very careful, judicious job with a very difficult situation. We care about democratic principles. We're excited by what happened in Tunisia. We're excited about what happened in Egypt. But uh, this is a different uh, game that we're in in Libya because you have a leader who has proven over and over again that he will do anything. So he requires us to be very careful in how we deal with him. And Congressman Franks, as we wrap up here very quickly, regardless of whether he got approval to begin with, we are in Odyssey Dawn now. It is underway. So what should President Obama do now moving forward? Well, it's important now that we make sure that a regime change is affected because anything less, I'm afraid, will mean that our efforts are of little consequence. And I, I would say to you, Heather, that the reason that we talk about the vacillation of the president is because leaders, including this mad dog of the Middle East, as Mr. Reagan called Gaddafi, uh, are looking at this president's uh, commitment. And I'm concerned that the greater perspective, like in Iran or uh, areas like that, they may look at the, the president's indecisive attitude and it may pro uh, project a much greater danger to all of us in the future. Okay, we have to wrap it up there. Thank you so much for joining us, Congressman McDermott and Congressman Franks. We appreciate it. Thank You're you. Bye-bye.